Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and I just wanted to do a video about the Hydra fight. This is a new fight required for your Relic weapon during the Relic quest line, and a lot of people have been asking me about what the changes were. This is a brand new step to the Relic quest from 1.0. This did not exist, and it's a nice addition. I do like it. Uh, there's just a few things you want to keep in mind. Uh, one, you're going to want to be on the job that you need the Relic weapon for when you do this fight. That is if you're trying to do it, you're not just helping. And two, you're going to need an unfinished weapon equipped. And you may not understand that now, but you'll understand that when you get to this fight at this point in the Relic Quest. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's just talk about the fight mechanics because we're going to go through this fight very, very quickly. So there's only three real mechanics in Phase 1 of the fight. The first one is a tail thrash. It just means if you're behind him, he'll try to hit you with his tail. This is actually kind of nice. You can use this to give the tank a break if he gets hit too hard. So, uh, melee, you feel free to move behind as long as you know you can move out of it before you get hit. The second move is called White Breath, which just uh, does a conal breath attack. It's nothing too major. Uh, the tank should move out of it because it does hurt a lot. And the third attack is Radiant Breath, which you'll do in a cone, not a cone, in a ring around him. What I mean by a ring is that if you're close to the Hydra, it won't hit you. If you're far enough away from the Hydra, it won't hit you. It's only if you're mid-range. And that's really all there is in Phase 1. And as you can see, we've already moved on to Phase 2 of the fight. So during Phase 2, he's uh, two of his heads are going to pick a target. One is going to shoot a fireball at somebody, and one's going to shoot an ice ball at somebody. The fireball does damage over time, and the ice ball slows people. Trust me, you don't want to get slowed during this fight, and you'll understand why in a little bit. The next mechanic of this fight is that now he is now he can summon wyverns. Now, these wyverns uh, don't have much health, and they don't hit very hard. You just need to have your DPS kill them as quick as possible. They do inflict a poison attack on uh, on auto attack, it seems. I can't tell if it's the tail attack or if it's on auto attack, really, because I always seem to have it. And somebody else just took the tail attack there, but I still seem to be poisoned, so I'm not sure. Uh, they don't hit very hard, as you can see, even with a bard, I could, I can tank them very, very well. Uh, but if you don't kill them quick enough, they will do an attack called Bravery, which will give the Hydra a massive defense boost for 60 seconds. You really don't want to have to deal with that defense boost, trust me, it just makes the fight take way longer than it needs to, especially because people are already using unfinished weapons. Now, as you can see, here, we're all stacking under him. This is for a move called Fear Itself. Now, Fear Itself... If it hits you, we'll do about 2,000 to 2,500 damage, and it'll terrorize you, which will cause you to run around uncontrollably for about 15 seconds. So whenever he does fear fear itself, he will run to the center of the arena, and he will place that, and he will do it. He will do the move. So you all need to stack under him. For this reason, it's very important not to tank the Hydra himself in the very center of the arena. Because you can actually get uh, a fireball or an ice ball right in the center or even close to the center. And it can just make the positioning a little bit more difficult on this fight. And the final move you really need to worry about, and this is a move that really only affects the tanks, is Triumvirate. Triumvirate will hit the tank with all three of the heads. It accounts as a triple attack, really. It will hit the tank with three basic attacks worth of hits. And trust me, you don't want to have to deal with that. It, it hurts and you have to deal with it. But you want to try and negate as much damage as possible. Now, as you can see, the longer the fight goes on, the more Wyverns you summon, the more times he'll do Fear itself. And it doesn't really seem to get much harder. As you can see here, he actually summons a Wyvern while he does Fear itself. And without without any fear, we just, uh, we just pull the Wyvern into the center, face it in the center. We don't even care if it hits everybody with that breath attack. And we deal with it. <laughs> like, there's nothing more we can really do. It's, it doesn't hit hard enough to really warrant worrying about anything. So, other than that, this fight is really, really simple. Uh, it's a nice check on some points to how much people pay attention to multiple targets. Uh, but it's not, and it's not a difficult step. It's definitely easier than the step it's probably replacing from 1.0. Uh, not really sure about what all steps were replaced. I know Ormvale and Cutter's Cry were replaced with the Chimera, which we'll be doing a video about because that fight gives people way more headaches than this fight does. This is the easier of the two fights, despite coming second. So there's not really there's not really much more to say about this guy. This guy is just so easy that uh, that I'm just sitting here like, oh, I finished <laughs> I finished describing what the boss does like a minute ago, and I've just been talking about the Relic Quest ever since. Uh, in case you're wondering what some of the other steps of the Relic Quest are, you're going to need to defeat a, a Chimera, you're going to need to do Ampador Keep, 
you're gonna need to fight Ifrit, Garuda, and Titan. You're gonna need to kill a few Beastmen, and you're all set. The hardest part is definitely Titan. He does not mess around. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, you're w well on your way to getting your relics. Uh, if you like these videos, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you want to see my regular Final Fantasy 14 updates and video updates and things like that, just to know better when I post something so you can watch it. So. Um, anyway, guys, I don't know. I'm just, I only have another about 20 seconds left in this video. Uh, I did my exit because I, t I didn't want to time it and I'm just voicing this over live. But uh, I'm just going to say words until it's, until it's over, I guess. <laughs> this, is, this is very informative, this final part, I believe. And I'm definitely going to keep this take. We're just going to finish him with a limit break here. Duty complete. And now I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Good day.